everybody, this is Stephanie from Resla Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. And in today's video, when you watch the video start to finish, you'll be able to understand how to save 25% or more off your pelleted rabbit feed costs using the system that I use. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell, that way you get notified every single time we release videos Saturdays and Mondays and the videos that you get in between. So we want to talk about the pellet feed costs. We want them to be reduced. So some of the most, besides the cost of the actual pens and the housing, all of the feeders, the water bottles, all of the actual tools like that that you use in your rabbitry, besides that cost and the rabbit, you have your cost of the actual pelleted feed. And so the cages, the pens, the water bottles, the J feeders, your um, the rabbit, all those things will be paid for once and done. Those are not reoccurring costs except what it costs to replace the pens or to replace the feeders or to replace um, the water bottles. So for the most part, those costs, for example, the cost of your rabbit, you pay for your rabbit once and then your rabbit is paid for. It's these recurring, reoccurring costs, such as the pelleted feed costs, that make the expenses of a rabbitry go up and stay up every single month. And when you're in the business of money, so when you're raising and breeding rabbits, for example, Angora rabbits, and you're breeding them to, as a, as a business to produce fiber animals and to have a profit that you can pay your bills with, or bare minimum, that if you want your rabbits to pay for themselves, this is the system I use, and these are the numbers. These are the actual behind the scenes numbers and behind the scenes details that you need to know. So the first thing that you need to know is how much does a 50 pound bag of food, what are, what are we working with for a cost? So we're gonna, this assumes that 50 pounds of feed, it costs around $20, some are more, some are less, depending on what you feed, okay? So it assumes this, this bag lasts about 60 days when you feed one cup per day. Now, depending on the size of your rabbit, you may feed a little bit more or you may feed just slightly less, but these are the numbers that we're working on on average. So we're also assuming that you feed your rabbits hay or um, the hay pellet feed in addition to um, just the pellets. But right now we're, we want to break this down and look at just the pellets. So if we know that 50 pounds it's going to cost us $20, it's going to last us 60 days, we can take a look at this and we can calculate it out and we can get our yearly cost that we would need to budget for based on the number of rabbits we have. So what this tells us is each of our rabbits costs approximately $10 per month to feed one cup of pellets per day. So if we know how much one rabbit costs, $10 per month, then we can go ahead and we can take a look at some numbers again. And I have my notes with me, so I'll just read this. If we were to actually supplement fresh greens, fresh plants, you have likely seen uh, other videos when I talk about feeding dandelions and feeding, harvesting and drying your own hay, feeding pumpkin plants, feeding comfrey, feeding green bean plants, feeding cattails, all the different videos that I have of all the different plants, which is not even a comprehensive list of all the plants you can feed your rabbits. If you haven't seen those videos, those videos are there for you to watch and learn about all the different plants uh, that you can feed your rabbit. And when you supplement all those fresh plants that we've talked about, um, we're going to assume you supplement and you can get it down to a half a cup per day. So this is 
not an extreme amount of supplementing for greens. So by feeding your harvested greens, you can get it down to a half cup per day. This is important. So in my climate, this is gonna depend upon your climate. In my climate, I can do this easily feeding these greens. I can do that easily in the months of May, June, July, August, and September. I have a five, five month stretch where I can reliably feed my rabbit's greens. And if you're, uh, if you're in the climate where we are, or sort of where we are, we're northern Wisconsin, um, if those are, whatever your growing season in is, whatever your growing months are, we're just gonna assume five months that it's a growing season. Now, if you've watched the other videos on harvesting and drying and saving all these different plants for winter time, let's just say you have, uh, you've saved one month of these plants. So we're gonna average, um, so if I just save one month of plants, which is what I average, I can add an extra month in there. I can go to October. So six months of the year, let's assume for half the year, we can get a good amount of greens, a good amount of variety in our rabbit's diet just by doing that. This is what we have. So in our non-growing season, your winter months, those six months, each rabbit is going to cost $60 per, per season for non-growing season. So it's going to, for one rabbit, we can calculate this out and we can say, if we feed one cup a day in the winter, which is when we don't feed and can't harvest the extra greens, it's going to cost us $60 for those six months to feed that one rabbit. But by feeding those harvested greens and getting it down to a half a cup, for the growing season or summer, that gets it down to only $30 per rabbit this season. Now add these together and this is what you get, $90. So when you add these together, $90 per rabbit per year when you use the supplemented the supplemented harvest green system, okay? When you don't do this, if you feed your rabbits one cup a day pellets, okay, and it costs $10 a month by not feeding the supplemented greens, this is what your feed costs look like. Not feeding it costs $120 per rabbit per year when you just get the, uh, the one cup a day, okay? $120 is what we're looking at. How do we get to these numbers? Let's go back and take a look just to make sure everyone's following. So if you don't feed the greens, we already, we already figured out feeding one cup a day costs $10 a month for your rabbit. If you just feed the pellets one cup a day, don't supplement the greens, it's going to cost you $10 per month to feed the rabbit. $10 each month, and you have 12 months in a year, gets you that $120 for the cost of rabbit feed per year. Now how did we get to that 90 again? We figured out that in the non-growing season, when we don't supplement those greens, it is feeding one cup a day for six months. That's $60. In the growing season, when we can supplement and we can also use that, the extra amount that we harvested and dried to get us the rest of the six months of the year, if you feed a half a cup per month because you're supplementing the greens, for six months, that gets it down to $5 a month, and that means $30 for that season. When you add this six months plus this six months, it equals 90. That's how we get to the $90 per year per year. Automatically, you can say, okay, 
by doing this, by supplementing when I can, if it's six months out of the year, if you can just supplement six months out of the year, you've saved $30 per rabbit per year. But it's actually more than that because when you think about it and you take a look at it, there's additional savings. So you're gonna have the cost in gas and wear and tear on your car to be able to go and get the pelleted feed. That's an additional expense. You have the cost of um, potentially less viable kits, potentially less healthy rabbits, so potentially more expensive vet bills because the rabbits are not getting that variety that they're used to that keeps them healthy and happy. So those are expenses that go up. But there's still more expenses because if you care about the amount of plastic that's used or the amount of garbage that you produce, if you have to pay for your garbage, then the additional 50 pound rabbit feed bags, that's additional garbage that you have to dispose of. And if you care about um, producing less garbage and you care about the climate, you care about, care about the environment, if you're trying to be to have a more sustainable rabbitry and reduce your plastic use, reduce the amount of garbage that you produce. So when you reduce the amount of rabbit pellets that you feed, you reduce the amount of garbage you produce, you reduce the amount of plastics that you use. So that's just healthier for the environment in general. So let's actually take a look at how my rabbitry, how do these numbers look for me? When I truly use this feeding and supplementing green system, this is how it actually looks for me. Per year, I have an average of four rabbits that I'm feeding per year. Now this goes up and down depending on how many litters I have. And this goes up and down depending on um, the transportation. But it averages out to me feeding uh, four rabbits per year. Let's look at this. If I feed one cup per day, 12 months out of the year, right? So that's an expense of $10 per month, $120 per rabbit per year. So if it's the no greens plan, which is the one cup per month, the cost in rabbit pellets alone, rabbit feed alone, is going to be $480 a year for me to feed one cup a day for four rabbits. But this is the good news. So I said you could save 25%. And you save 25%, you reduce your bill by 25%. If six out of the six months out of the year, you, you supplement and you feed some greens. This is the cool thing. I don't just feed some greens. I feed, I feed a variety, a big variety of a lot of greens. Based upon what I can feed, based upon what I can harvest, my numbers actually look like this. So I have it down to a quarter cup of pellets per rabbit in that six month period. What's the savings cost? Well, this is how it looks. For a quarter cup, six months out of the year, that's two dollars and fifty cents per rabbit per month. So you have six months out of the year, I'm only spending two dollars and fifty cents on rabbit feed per rabbit per month. That's compared to ten dollars. So for six months out of the year, I can reduce my rabbit feed costs by 75% by feeding those extra greens and those extra plants. Okay, so if we look at this and we, we calculate this out, if I'm paying six, $2.50 for six months, that means 
in those six months, it actually only cost me $15 per rabbit. So for six months of the year, my feed bill is only $15 for one rabbit. Now when I feed the full cup, it goes back to the amount of $10 a month for six months. Which is, for those six months, $60 a rabbit. But what does it do to my feed cost? $60 plus my feed cost This is what I can do. My feed costs are only $75 per rabbit per year. So when you look at cutting the expenses, if you can feed it, if you can get it down to feeding a quarter cup of rabbit pellets a day in that six month period, then what you're looking at is if you still feed a cup per month for six months, you're looking at a savings of, um, let's see here. It was, for four rabbits, it was $480. If you take that $75, you times it by that four, you're saving $1,000. $180 per year. So saving $180 on your rabbit feed bill for four rabbits is pretty nice. That's not bad at all. 